From serving time in jail for rape and manslaughter to being under house arrest for threatening offset, Kenneth Petty is not your regular celebrity husband. Call him the most notorious if you want, but the 45-year-old doesn't mind. Today's video takes a deeper dive into his past to uncover five shocking truths about him. We've got the details, so stay tuned. Petty is a registered sex offender. And before you know it, he was grabbing a hold of my jacket. Jennifer, what happened after he grabbed you? I felt something in my back. So I just assumed there was, I assumed there was a gun. Okay. And I started walking. Back in 1995, Kenneth Petty was slammed with a conviction for first degree attempted rape of a 16 year old girl. He spent time behind bars in a New York State prison for his crime. His shady past remains under the wraps until his victims spoke up about threats to her life. Jennifer Hoff filed a lawsuit accusing Minaj and her husband of intimidating her. She claimed the couple inflicted emotional pain on her and allegedly tried to bribe her into recanting her story about Petty. They offered a whopping $20,000 in exchange for a statement refuting her earlier claims. When she refused to back down, she received endless harassment calls and visits from people associated with the couple. Jennifer revealed that she was on her way to school when Petty grabbed her and pressed a knife into her back. He then forcibly took her to a house at knife point before causing a small cut on her stomach and raping her. When Petty and Nicki Minaj started in 2018, the rapper discredited her story online insisting that they were dating when the incident happened. As a sex offender, Kenneth Petty was legally required to register in the state but he didn't. In September 2021, Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, pled guilty to one count of failure to register as a sex offender. He struck a plea deal and was sentenced on July 6, 2022. He was slammed with a hefty $55,000 fine, one year of home confinement, and three years probation. Number 4. He pleaded guilty to manslaughter. In 2006, Petty pleaded guilty to manslaughter. This was a reduction from an original second-degree murder charge. Reports say that Petty shot Lamont Robinson multiple times with a loaded handgun. He served seven out of the 10-year sentence before he was released in 2013. He was on supervised release for five years and by 2018, he was a free man. But since then, Petty has moved from one petty crime to another, pun intended. Number three, he threatened Offset. So, yeah. on that vacation, yeah. you're planning your funeral, yeah. 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 All the way to the street, nigga. Ah. Yeah. 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 Let's play. Yeah. Let's play. What's up? We we'll yeah. meet you there, nigga. Just when you thought it couldn't get crazier, Nikki's husband made headlines again. Weeks ago, the internet exploded after a video of Nikki's husband threatening Offset went viral. Following the clip, he was arrested and sentenced to 120 days of house arrest. Court documents show that his threatening remarks towards an individual and his extensive criminal records were part of the reasons for the arrest. In the video, he and his crew were seen loitering around New York City street near Offset's hotel. He called out his supposed victim, threatening to knock his veneers out. He also said Offset should be planning his funeral instead of a vacation. Without weighing in on the dispute between Petty and Offset, the police wanted to keep him in check. Number 2. He is a high school dropout. Kenneth dropped out of high school and has not pursued higher education ever since. Back in the day, he and his wife Nikki attended LaGuardia High School in New York City, where they had a brief romance before parting ways. They were probably carried away by their teenage fantasies and education didn't matter. Nikki said he has known her since she was 14 and they have many fond memories together. She regrets her decision to drop out of college and frequently tells her fans to get good grades and stay in school. She said in several public appearances that her only regret is not getting a formal education. This is partly thanks to you know who. Number 1. Minaj repeatedly defends their relationship. When people find real love and when, I, and, when a, and when a person is with a nigga that loved or liked them before they had a dime in their fucking pocket, 
How do y'all not understand that? How do y'all not understand happiness versus clout? Unfortunately, Nikki is on the receiving end of Petty's misgivings. Critics are constantly on her neck, questioning why she was with a convicted sex offender. She had some words for the naysayers on her Queen Radio podcast in 2019. She emphasized that he loved her when she didn't have a dime to her name. She made it clear that she preferred happiness over clout. As for those who think she's lowering her standards for him, she has a straightforward response. It's the truth. Money cannot buy me happiness and good sex. Talk show host Wendy Williams once stared some controversies by reminding her that her husband is a killer and a sex offender. And Barb's response? I don't know that in our society, you have to be plagued by your past. I didn't know that people can't turn over a new leaf. I didn't know that your viciousness and evilness was these deep-rooted, these deep-seated. But here's the question on everyone's lips. Is Kenneth Petty a changed man? You be the judge. Please drop your thoughts in the comment section below. While at it, smash that like and subscribe button to stay updated with the latest celebrity gossip.